Hello and welcome back to another 11 lines or less with Klebco and Computercraft. Uh, so here we've got the beautiful Klebco concert hall. The curtains are up. It's just stunning. I mean, it's full of wool and uh, notes and colors. The lights are on. Beautiful purple lights. We've got a couple of box seats and we've got maybe Statler and Waldorf over there and um, some Momo over here. I don't know. Maybe some Momo from Sergeant Frog. And uh, then we've got our beautiful concert piano. Or, I don't know, whatever. Whatever this is. So let's go ahead and show what you can do with this little guy. Uh, we've got the music hall program. And uh, you can type in whatever you want. So let's just type in a few random numbers. So how beautiful is that? That was amazing, wasn't it? So how does that work? Well, uh, this would be the first block, second, third. So this corresponds with those numbers you saw me type in. 3232 would have been... And let's just go ahead and prove that. We'll go 3232. There you go. And uh, it goes 1 through 9. And all you do if you want to set this up for yourself is you would just right click. I'll just click this last one. We don't use it. And you hear the note is changing. I'm sure most of you have used note blocks. But when you're done, uh, let's say that's the one I want, then if you left click, you can make sure that that's the one you want and it's not going to change. But then right clicking would change it again. So I've set all these to be just regular notes. Uh, not, uh, not sharp, not flat. And, and what this lets you do with these bundled cables is now you can type in whatever you like and uh, it'll play the note block in that order. So we let's say we wanted to play, I don't know, let's make another one up. Um, I don't know. That's not that good. Uh, but uh, you can also add some spaces in, so if your music calls for uh, a pause in between, I know there's uh, what, quarter notes and half notes and whole notes, so you can add a little bit of some space in between to try to uh, make your music sound more musical. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and put in a, a classical song, you know, we all like classics, uh, Mozart and, and Chopin. Chopin, Chopin's a good one, he's one of my favorite uh, classic, classic guys, he's a good one. So let's go ahead and put in a real classic uh, song here, and let's listen to that, and I will, I will use my baton to play along here. So here we go. Oh, beautiful. And one last thing I did add here is I added this repeat command. And what that's going to do is whatever is in there, in that input, it's going to repeat that over and over and over again. So we can just have this beautiful ecstasy of sound forever and ever and ever. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and stop that, actually, before I drive any of you crazy. And let's look at the code. Now, you can obviously type in whatever you want. You can, I think that the string that it t allows you to type in is pretty long, so you could put in a pretty big song here, actually, and just set up these note blocks to be the notes that you need for your song. You could even set up more note blocks. There's more um, uh, red wire cabling that you could use. Uh, and actually, let's talk about that first. So the red wire cabling is kind of important because I set it up the way that red wire bundling is uh, in order because this cable is one and it's po by powers of two. So this is two to the zeroth power is one, two to the first power is two. I'm sorry, uh, I know you didn't like math in school maybe. I, I was okay with it, but uh, you know when the math teacher said that math will be used in, in your life? Well, they were right. Unfortunately, it's used all the time. So this is two to the power of zero, two to the power of one. Uh, and what that means is this is 2, uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, etc. And there's more that you can use. There's more cables. And you have to put it in the right order. Otherwise, it's not going to play. This block won't be 1. If you put in magenta, this block will actually be 3 in, in the program. So all you need to do to make sure that you set it up correctly is when you're looking at the wires here in the um, Not Enough Items, I think this is, just put it in the order that you see it here. So first white, then orange, then magenta, etc. And you can go all the way to black, so you can have 16 different notes to play if you wanted to edit this program. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the program itself. Edit Music Hall. So um, at first I just had just regular input, this input here, and I would type in the song to it. 
And uh, later on, I wanted to allow someone to type in repeat. But if you typed in repeat and it went into input, then your song is gone. It's, it's been overwritten because now repeat is in there instead of your song. So I just kind of ha haphazardly threw in this second input, input two. And that's what they actually type stuff into. So if they type in repeat, it doesn't get rid of your song. So here we're setting it up, local input two. So getting that input set up. And then we've got our loop here, while true, do, we're gonna do this loop over and over. Now at the very beginning, input two will be not nothing. It'll be nil. Um, so if it's nil, or they didn't type in repeat, then that means we want to get another set of song notes from them. And so we're going to read from the keyboard until they hit enter and put all those letters or numbers that they typed and put it into input two. So that's all that this if statement does. It gets whatever they type and puts it into input two. And then this one says if they didn't type in repeat, then they must have been typing in a song for us to play. So this is our song variable, just regular input. That's where our song goes. So if they did type repeat though, then we don't do this because we just want to play the song that they had played before and in, in the last in the last iteration or whatever you want to call it okay so now we've got the song that we want to play in input and now we just have to play it so right now input is a string of characters and um, and what we want to do is we want to start at the very first character so a equals starting at one and we want to go to the length of that string so if they typed in one 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 they typed in three characters. They typed in the character one three times. So we want to do from one to three and that's going to get each uh, each character that they typed in. Now here we're actually getting the just one character. So right at first if they did type in one 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 that's like 111 and we don't have 111 to play so that's, that, that's not what we want. What we want to do is we just want to get that first one. So we're getting sub input so input is one 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 but a is the first character so we're getting that first one in fact let's let's change it up let's say we they typed in three two one now the first character from three two one is a three so we're getting back that first character that they typed in and we're changing it into a number now at this point note can be either the number that they typed in or if they didn't type in a number like for some reason they typed in the letter a uh, then note will be n nil, it won't be n anything because they couldn't change A into a number. So what we want to do is we want to play the note if it's a number 1 through 9. So here we have if note is not nil and note is 1 through 9, more than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 9, then we want to play it. So we do redstone set bundled output back. Now here's where that math comes in it actually is pretty simple so we're saying uh, 2 to the power of this is power so 2 to the power of note minus 1 because 1 the first note is actually 2 to the 0th power so I'm sorry <laughs> that's a little confusing but uh, that that's how it works uh, so 2 to the 0th power is 1 and then if they play the second note it's you know 2 to the first power is 2 that this is the math that puts the correct bundled number so that the correct bundled cable gets lit up. So now they've typed in the they've typed in the number. We've we've played the first note using this redstone set bundled output. Now we need to wait a second, and then turn it back off. So we're going to sleep for 0.1, and then we're going to turn off. We're going to set it to zero, which means we don't want any of the bundled outputs to play, and then sleep for another second. And then it goes. This end is for this four, so it's going to go through all those four loops and it's going to play each of the num letters that we or each of the numbers that we that we typed in and then after it's done that it's going to go back up to this while true and if it is repeat we're not going to even get a, we're not going to get a new song we're just going to play that old song over and over again so it's pretty simple except for that power if you're not that sharp on math yet but just you can go ahead and copy that um, if you are sharp at math then it should make sense to you I think and uh, now we'll play it again and we'll kind of dis discuss what's happening Ooh, that's uh, music hell is not what we wanted. So, in this case, three two one, it's gonna take this string three two one, put it into input, and it's going to go through each of these numbers, these uh, these characters here, three, and then a two, and then a one, and for each of these, it's gonna turn it into a number, and then whatever number it turned it into, it's going to play that block. So that's it. You can make 
you can now make some beautiful music. Go ahead and throw down your number blocks, throw down some bundled wire. Uh, go ahead and put this, punch this, this code in, and you're going to be able to uh, make some oh, spooky. Spook, that was spooky. You're going to be able to make whatever music you'd like and uh, repeat it and have it playing in your, in your home or wherever you'd like. So I really hope this is something that's useful to you. I hope that it's something that you might want to use and tweak and make your own. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, until next time, happy computing. What's what's it's an airplane. It's an airplane song, 787. Okay. Anyway. Uh, all right, well, that's good. All right. All right, take care, everybody.